They chose the virtuosity of the orchestra in a, in a wonderful way. If you just look at or listen to that tuba solo he wrote, which is insanely difficult. And our dear Yasuo just, <laughs> I, I remember also that when we will premiered it and, and Yasuo came sort of in panic to me and said, oh my God, you know, that's so difficult. And I said, if anybody can do it, you can do it. And, and he pulls it off in, a, in a, an outstanding way. And Mr. Staud, he also told me when he wrote the piece, he had the orchestra in mind, which he had heard before. And he knew how virtuoso every single musician is there. It says a lot about the Cleveland Orchestra. We, we don't shy away from challenges. We actually enjoy challenges. And, and uh, this piece Mr. Staud wrote for us, uh, I remember the rehearsals well. It's a big challenge. And I think it comes across. Aus Italian, when you hear a great performance, you you believe it's a great piece. Mm -hmm. If you hear a performance which is not all that great, you think, oh, it's not a great piece. Um, there, there are a lot of, of pieces like that. Um, but uh, with Aus Italian, if you, if you played thinking where he went, after that, I mean, this was his first big orchestral piece where he tried to prove to the public that he's a genius. If you take it for real music and sort of trying to help it with the sheen this orchestra has, the transparency and, and give every little detail the care it requires, then all of a sudden it sounds like, wow, you know, there's, there's a great composer who is about to go on to a big journey, which Richard Strauss did. Mm -hmm. 